Hi, my name is Paul and you are watching video by 3 dprintingstore.co.za This video is on how to assemble the Minimalist Extruder Kit. What you'll need for this is the Minimalist Extruder Kit. It will come in a bag like this. Then you'll need a hot end. You can use the jade, the all metal hot end will also work like this. Basically any hot end with the interface that as shown here will be suitable. And then a stepper motor, the size is a NEMA 17 stepper motor. This is a 40 millimeter stepper motor with a 1.8 degrees per step step size, so it's 200 steps per revolution. You can use a bigger NEMA 17 motor, a smaller one probably won't have enough torque to drive this, this extruder. And then you'll need basic tools to do the assembly process. The first step is to prepare the components. So we'll take the component that looks like this, this is the lever of the extruder. And we will assemble the bearing, this is a 624 bearing. We'll assemble it to the, to the lever. How we do it, this is we insert the bearing into the slot provided. And we use the M4 screw. It will fit in from the top. The hole at the top is bigger than the, the hole at the bottom, so that the thread will screw into the, the hole at the bottom. So we take the number 3 Allen key. And you tighten it so that the, the bearing can still turn. It's not required to torque the, the, the screw, otherwise it will strip the thread. The only use is to, to keep the screw in place and the bearing must still be able to turn. The next step is to assemble the adjustment mechanism to be able to adjust tension in the extruder. How you'll do that is you'll take the M5 nut and the M5 grub screw, assemble them together like that and this will go into the base component you'll see the base component has three positions for nuts the center, the one closest to the center can take the uh, M5 nut so you'll assemble it with the grub screw to the bottom you can use an allen key to to force it down to the to the bottom so that it looks like that now we will assemble it to the stepper motor the stepper motor serves as the the base or the structure of the extruder so how we will do this is the base component will fit onto the, the stepper motor like that. I like to, to keep my wires at the top. This will be the base of the extruder. Now we will insert our hot end into the position. That goes there. And then this component is the clamp that goes over the hot end and keeps it in place. So we'll use two M3 washers. For the screws and then the, the M3 screws goes right through to the bottom and we'll use the 2.5 size allen key to, to tighten these down okay so at this point your extruder looks like this 
your hot tent is nicely clamped into the printed components and the printed component components is fixed to the to the stepper motor with those two screws and there's no play between them if there's play between the at this stage you can take the hot tent out and use the 5 mm wide captain tape and wind it around the head of the the hot end to increase that diameter so that it fits snugly into the printed components. The next step is to assemble the lever onto the onto the hot end. Now how we do this is we take the spring and it goes into that hole in the in the lever. You can press it right down down to the bottom. For this we'll use the last M3 screw and also some of the, the washers. Now you can play around with the amount of washers that you use here. You can put one on the top and five at the bottom or four at the bottom, two at the top or nothing at the top and five at the bottom. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is determined by the amount of thread that you have in your, in your stepper motor. So in this case I'll just use five M3 wash washers. And before I assemble this, I will put one washer on top of the, the M5 grub screw to be able to push the, the spring. Okay, so then you take the lever with the spring, make sure the, that washer is in place. So this this screw you'll screw it down till it reaches the bottom of the thread. The idea is that it's it can still move like that, but it shouldn't have too much play. This one might have a bit too much play, so I'll add those those two washers as well. Okay, so at this stage the extruder looks like this. The lever can can move like that and the spring pushes it back so that the spring of the, the bearing pushes against the shaft of the of the stepper motor. So what we'll do now is we'll add the machined bolt to grip on the on the filament. When you insert it, you must just check from the top that you align it with the, the hole that's here at the, in, the, in the lever and with the bearing. And when you've done that, you can tighten the grub screw of the, the machined bolt with a, it's a 1.5 Allen key. Okay, the only last thing is to adjust the tension, the, the preload in the extruder. You can use this M5 bolt. If you tighten it, it will increase the, the pressure on the filament. So if you experience a lot of, a lot of slippage and you cannot see the, the teeth of the machine bolt on the filament, then it's most probably due to a lack of, of tension in the in the extruder. And then these two M4 bolts are to mount it onto your printer.
So these in four in four nuts goes in from the top. And now you're ready to go. Thanks for watching and visit our website for more info.